Okay, so when it comes to storage, um, my very talented husband uh, built me this laptop rack. Now, this has been invaluable. Like, it's this useless space behind the TV area. And it's just made out of um, tongue and groove like boards and then a shelf in the top so that all of the cords and um, charging cables and everything can go in the top. So this has been absolutely fabulous. Now, as you can see in another video, I'll cover the coffee machine, but it fits perfectly in that little enclave, uh, alcove, I uh, beg your pardon, um, behind the TV. Uh, he also installed some additional shelves. Now there was like I think one but we put them at the right height so that the Sistema containers um, can protect it. Again aerial um, extender, go through that in another video. Um, so there we go, laptop storage, very important. Um, really great takes you know it doesn't take any time to make i know because um i didn't do it <laughs> yeah. um but yep yeah, really great use of that space tucked away um nice and protected so another important part of having a laptop on the road is charging the bloody thing now up until we found this guy that was a pain in the backside now this uh, cigarette charger this bit connects into this this connects into that and uh, this part of the charger has a um, different adaption adapters that connect into the various different equipment you have so I've got this one loaded for my Toshiba um, but yeah it came with about I think six options or eight adapters that connect into it now we bought this guy in battery world in Western Australia and this was a game changer particularly when we were in Europe and, you know, we're on the road all the time um, and definitely free camping or wild camping as it's known over there. So the cigarette lighter, um, plug it in, charge it up while we're moving was invaluable. So, yeah, great piece of equipment and, yeah, got to have it. Um, of course, you've got your power, normal power connections and if you're stopping at a caravan park or whatever you can always use that. We've also got an inverter but we very rarely use the inverter because we've got this guy and look um, from memory this guy was under 60 bucks so look anything I would have paid for this guy to make life on the road charging the laptop easier. Schooling, blogging, work remote this was an absolute must-have. So laptops on the road, uh, whether it be for schooling or work or blogging or whatever, uh, they are an essential part of the world that we live in today and some added points to consider. Uh, before you leave on your trip, um, make... Um, make sure or look into the possibility of adding a solid state hard drive to your computer. Um, basically, all the corrugations and general road use and even travel of using aeroplanes and, and what have you, um, a solid state is a much more hardy hard drive um, to deal with the type of travel. We've done it to both our main machines and um, absolutely worthwhile. Not to mention, get them upgraded one terabyte um, and include the storage capability of the unit. Um, external speaker, um, we're going to do a separate video on that because absolutely must have for uh, whether it be a TV or uh, a laptop. But um, yep, just some extra tips to make uh, life on the road a bit easier. Subscribe below and um, be sure to tune in next time.